And so I've got my ash inside my bucket. I had it already sieved. So all the big, big chunks of coal, I returned it back into the grill. So my coal has been returned back. So all I have here is the ash. So I'm using a big bucket for this particular project, making ash soap. Still. At this point, I'll be running a tap in my bucket of ash. I ran a tap the first time and just so you see, still got ash underneath, still ash there, so I'll run the tap some more. So what we're trying to achieve here is to get the lime water. We let the ash mix to settle for about four hours. Then we'll check back and collect the live water. A few moments later. So I have my live water. That's exactly what I need for my ash soap. You see below all the ash particles has already settled down and I've got some debris floating on top of my lye water and that brings me to the next stage which is filter the debris and all I'll have left is my lye water. So this is the container that I'll be using to collect the sieved lye water. Now if you take a look over here there's so much debris so much particles and for my ash soap i do not want any of that <laughs> to go into the process so i got an old cloth i just found this vest of mine lying around just idle so what better way than to put it to good use This is all that got filtered out from the lye water. I'm just going to take that off gently so we don't get any back into what we've got here. As we all know, is a vegetable oil gotten from the shear knot. An abundance in Africa especially Nigeria so it's my lye water just going to spin it rather stir it for the time being so I'll be scooping some lye water and pouring it into into my, sh my melted shea butter so. so it's been boiling for about 10 minutes I'll turn it off now to cool down and I'm about to whisk it with my electronic whisk 
if you don't have the electronic whisk you could just use the manual whisk to whisk your soap till you get a thick consistency so So I'll be doing this for the next 10 minutes. I'll take breaks in between, but pretty much. The soap into this old dispenser bottle and there's so much foam <laughs> as you can see I'm really pleased with the results so far and let's go and just so that's how you make ash soap and 